Hello, I'm Martin Van Breems, and I'm aboard a new VAR 37, which is the first larger boat to use our new Dutch Mar jib boom. So we're going to unroll the jib soon and take a look at how it works. The Dutch Mar jib boom uses a double head sail system. Here you can see each head sail has a clue block to allow the outhaul to be pulled in easily. The jib boom attaches to where the fore stay is normally attached, i.e. to the stem fitting. The furling system is moved forward by about 10% of the distance from the stem to the mast. The jib boom is designed to sit above the anchor roller. You can see here how the self-tacking feature works. The windward jib sheet serves as a stop to limit how far the boom can travel. When you tack, the leeward jib sheet simply takes the load. The Dutchmar jib boom also uses a topping lift line. This topping lift line runs up to close to the forestay attachment and supports the boom when the outhauls are not tensioned. Our two outhaul lines are pulled, unroll the jib. The sail's been almost all the way unrolled, and I've gotten as much outhaul tension as I can by hand. Now I'm going to go ahead and start winching. We're on a close reach now, and you can see how effective the Dutchmar jib boom is at maintaining an excellent shape relative to the wind. Here you can see how the cantilevered aspect of the jib boom allows the forestay tension to keep the leech at a correct amount of tension thus giving a really effective off-the-wind sail. I'm going to ease the head sail forward now. You can see it already wants to uh, do the wing and wing thing. And at the same time, I'm going to release my port outhaul line. Trim our outboard jib sheet. And we are now sailing in spinnaker mode. In about 10 knots of true wind, we're doing 5-4, five, 5-5. Four, five, five. Pretty impressive. To heat things up a little bit, we're sailing at a broad reach. So we've headed up a little bit. And you can see the sail is still performing beautifully. And uh, that great performance. Our boat speed is now up to 6.6 six knots, 6.7. Six, We're heading out now on our trip to St. Thomas just hoisted our storm jib, which lives inside the uh, new 
furling system and our double head sail system and like the sail it cheated to the back end of the boom so um, this is uh, going to stay up for the rest of the trip and we will uh, then pull out the uh, larger Genoa as we need it so the uh, storm jib can live inside the larger Genoa we're unrolling the furling head sail now See how these lines get brought back to the clue. And now it's deployed. We'll then go put the lines on the winch and go ahead and tighten them up. We're about 300 miles south of Bermuda right now, having gone through some very difficult weather last night. We had winds up to 37 knots. As we look up in the uh, head sail, we can see the uh, storm jib is still up, and we're going to leave it up until we get in. So you can see the silhouette of the storm jib that's in between the two 110% head sails. The main sail course has a Dutchman and we've got three reef lines. We were in our third reef last night with the winds over 37 knots. We're going to tack now. you'll see the self-tacking feature at work. So here we go. And you can see how the windward sheet there is taking the load. And our leeward sheet is now slack. Fall back quickly. we can do more with shape adjustment if we tension the lured sheet. We can use it to help control the draft and uh, do uh, control twist in the sail a little bit more accurately. So uh, for ocean sailing like this we normally will have our lured sheet trimmed in and use that for twist control. The windward sheet is used to adjust the angle of attack. We're now winching in the leeward side, and you can use it, you can see how we use it to adjust for twist. in St. Thomas, on St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, with the jib boom and spinnaker mode here.